What's happening, people? It's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town FC superfan. As my team Whitton Town played yesterday night, today I'm going to do my first ever neutral match day vlog today of Bowers and Pitsy versus Basildon United FC in their local derby match. And I think it's going to be a cracking game, I reckon, and I'm really looking forward to watch it as a neutral. And I'm just currently on the bus on my way to Pitsy from Basildon bus station now. And the journey on the bus from Chelmsford to Basildon went pretty well. And, and now I'm just on my way to Pitsy for Bowers and Pitsy FC against Basildon United football matches a neutral. I'm currently now arrived in Pitsy to get ready to watch the Bowers and Pitsy versus Basden United in a local derby as a neutral. And I'm really looking forward to be meeting the Basden United superfan Tommy Whale. He's a legend to Basden United Football Club. He goes to every single Basden United home and away matches. And his support was absolutely unreal. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to watch the Bowers and Pitsy versus Basildon United in the in their local derby. And, and let's hope it will be a great game. And the reason why I'm planning to do a neutral match day vlog, because I thought, especially next season, is I can go to further non-league grounds to visit the non-league grounds a lot further in the UK and to travel the longer journeys on the trains as a neutral as well next season and I also thought this may help with fellow autistic people on gaining their confidence on my travelling and but as for today I'm really looking forward to their local derby at Bowers and Pitsy versus Basildon United I'm now arrived at Bowles and Pitsy FC to get ready to watch the matches in neutral of Bowles and Pitsy versus Basildon United. And here we've got the Basildon United super fan, Tommy Whale. Tommy, are you excited for today's game away at Bowles and Pitsy? Oh, definitely. Um, I'm very excited for today's game. I feel like Basildon United could pull something off today. Um, obviously, last time around, we, uh, we lost 4-0, unfortunately. Um, but I, I feel like today we can uh, we can give them more of a fight than we did last time. We've got a good squad together, so I'm feeling very confident. Yeah, it'll be really good for the Basley United players to be up for it today. And are you confident that Basley United are going to win today? Um, I'm confident, yeah. But um, I think it will be hard to win, obviously, giving Bowers and, giving Bowers and Pitsy's position. They're first in the league. Basley United are 12th in the league. Um, but yeah, I reckon we could win. Yeah. And now we're coming to the score predictions. Uh, what's your score prediction? Uh, I'm going to say 1 0 to Basildon United. I am going to say, as a neutral point of view, I would say 2 1 Basildon United. Yeah. I'm, I'm, hopefully, it will be a good game, though, no matter what the score is. Thank you so much for your time. No problem, James. Enjoy the game. Yeah, thank you very much, you too. Thanks. <laughs> The half-time score, Bowles and Pitsy 1, Basildon United 0. As a neutral point of view, it is a really, really good game. And Basildon United had a right go at, at, at the Bowles and Pitsy players in the first half and give it a right go at the Bowles and Pitsy players. And like it was a local derby and like it was like end-to-end -end stuff. And 
But yeah, like I said, Basildon United had a, had a real go in the first half, but it was unlucky to concede the odd goal from Bowles and Pitsy for 1-0. And, and I think Bowles and Pitsy will win the league this season. And But in the second half, hopefully, Basildon United will become better. And let's hope it'll be a really good second half. What? He's given the penalty. Two nil fouls and pits in. Come on, Plato. Three nil to Bowles and Pitsy. Four nil, Bowles and Pitsy. The full time score Bowers and Pitsy 4, Basildon United 0. Tommy, what is your thoughts on the game today? Um, I think in the first half we performed pretty well. We had a few chances, one uh, that went just over the bar. Um, so I think that, that could have been our, our best chance. But um, we had one chance where the keeper uh, made it, their Bowers keeper made a good save and then it came uh, to the rebound. But um, blocked by Bowers defender. Um, but I must admit, in the second half, I'm, I wasn't pleased with the second half. Um, I, I do think there, there is massive amounts of room for improvement from the second half. Um, yeah, it's just disappointing because I think the defence went to sleep in the second half. Do you think the Basdi United players should do better in the second half, a bit, bit more better? Uh, yeah, definitely. But I think that the main thing is to look at is they did, they tried their best, I think. Um, the defence tried their best um, in the first half, in the second half, like I say, it went downhill a bit. Um, but the, t the whole team all together, they tried their best and it's just it's just one of them things. And But it's, it's, it's just annoying that the one team that smashed us, uh, that have smashed us twice in this, in this season are our rivals. Yeah, it does happen in football sometimes, like when you're doing pretty well and, and then the second half got a little bit sort of dropped a little bit. And do you think Basda United stay up this season? I'm confident we can stay up, but um, we need the results to go our way to stay up, obviously. Um, and it can't all it can't always go our way. So, I, but I, but I am confident we can stay up this season. Um, we're twelfth place, obviously, quite a few points off of the relegation zone. But that's not to say we can't. That's not to say we can't drop. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for your time and and I hope you enjoyed today's match day vlog as a neutral. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my channel and make sure you subscribe on his channel, the, the Basildon United Superfans channel. My team, Whitton Town, back in action next Saturday at home to Soham Town Rangers. And who's your Basildon United team got next Saturday? Uh, we're at home against AFC Sudbury.
Yeah, Baz United home to AFC Sudbury.